We're having a mini outing. Don't know if you also have a husband like this. I just decided to steal this vlog and, and make it into my own. Peekaboo! Subscribe to the channel. Okay, it's Saturday and we are venturing out. We're gonna do a little family drive because we don't necessarily need to be housebound. Cabin fever and going insane. Yay! It snowed a lot last night. So yesterday it was raining and it got up to about four degrees so everything has started to defrost and I could actually see a tiny bit of the grass but no, it snowed all last night and much of the late morning so again, it's a Christmassy winter wonderland. I realise that we are out, so we're contributing to this, but there is a shocking amount of people actually out and about. I mean, it's quieter than a normal Saturday, but there is still a lot of people out and a lot of people at shops. I don't know, I suppose that I brought the camera out to kind of record like quiet streets and a quiet supermarket and it's just not like that. I just don't know if people are actually taking this seriously like seriously enough just seriously it's scary i think this is what could probably anger quite a lot of people quite quickly but i think also everyone is trying to buy their way out of things i'm just trying to be stressed by doing this but it's stupid because you're just exposing yourself to Definitely to it fear is never what to call a rational <sighs> I mean, like this, there shouldn't be anyone in this car park. And yep. it's full. Yep. It's jam packed full. Well, it's not jam packed, maybe, but. <laughs> well. It's pretty busy, Ingemar. Look. Uh huh. And Ingemar said there was a security guard on the door here the other day, making sure that, you know, under 100 people would be in here. So hopefully they're still doing that. So at least. We're having a mini outing. We have some snacks in the car for Mia. And Daddy's gone to do the last supermarket shopping. I can't believe how many people are out though. It really is quite shocking. I appreciate that we're also contributing to that, but I'm genuinely surprised how many people there are. Another one? Good girl. Hmm. I mean, this is very bad uh, vlogging right now, but that is him, <laughs> right? Where's my finger? That's him right there. Definitely not two meters distance between everyone, and there's quite a lot of people in there, so who knows? I don't know if you also have a husband like this who doesn't really believe in weekly or fortnightly shopping, and so he's gonna struggle with this more than we probably will. I don't know if I'll enter this clip. Hey guys, so Sonia asked me to say a few words. I just decided to steal this vlog and, and make it into my own. We have a pandemic on our hands. We didn't have a pandemic on our hands three weeks ago, but we do now. The whole world is affected by this coronavirus, COVID-19 as it's called on the news. How is this affecting us? Mm, I think it's gonna increase the stress for everyone, even those who are gonna be healthy and get through this because following the pandemic and already starting here in Iceland, for instance, is a recession. Tourism has died down. We have a lot fewer tourists than we did a few weeks ago. And for the next foreseeable future, no one is gonna to come to Iceland. So people have been laid off in masses. How does this affect me, or, me and Sonia? We're not being paid by the tourism industry in any way. Many of our friends are, and they have been seeing layoffs and, and, and diminished participation. One moment. Me, myself, I'm starting a new job on the 1st of April, and I actually am not sure if I'm going to start the job, because I don't know how the company is going to fare in all of this, so I'm hoping it will be, will be good, and I'll start and enjoy a successful career there. But it's kind of weird and stressful actually i've been losing sleep over this mia is banging her head up against the table but it's okay at the moment we're trying to do 
this right thing, do the social distancing thing, which means we're trying to keep our contact to others to a minimum. Just going out for bare essentials. It seems social distancing is not really a hit here in Iceland. And actually Reykjavik was a lot busier today than it was yesterday when I was coming home from work. So it is kind of weird that everyone is going out at the same time. Peekaboo! How are you supposed to feel? Maybe you're supposed to feel brave and strong and ready for everything because you've been preparing for this your whole life. <coughs> no one prepares for this. Mia has also taken this time to become a teenager. Sestu! A teenager? She's obeying me and smiling. There's an old Chinese proverb or a curse that says may you live in interesting times and I think we're experiencing those interesting times right now. We are seeing unprecedented spread of a disease that can only be in recent times be compared with the Spanish flu and hopefully this will not be as deadly as the Spanish flu although death ratios of 4 up to 4% have been detected. I don't think that saying it's just because the countries are third world or something that it's going to be that way it's going to be how much strain they put on the healthcare systems Iceland is aiming to do about this is to aim for herd immunity uh, using social distancing and controlled isolation for people who are uh, come from areas outside of the country they put in <coughs> isolation for two weeks and are being tested and already half of the people who have been confirmed disease with a disease and positive to the disease come from areas outside of the country so and have been quarantined so that's a good a good sign i think that we have it under control but we're also seeing an influx of, of infections the main thing here is that we control it and we try to let them not create too much of a strain on the healthcare system. We are supposed to go fairly easily through this. Both children and adults should be okay for the most part unless they have underlying issues. Don't think we have any of those issues. Um, we do have cabin fever so I think that might kill us or we would kill each other more or less. Um, <coughs> Yeah, you just did a boo boo, didn't you? And I'm back, so then we'll have fun editing this. The news, my Facebook feed, all social media is going on about, you see, three or four things. First off, it's people telling other people to take care and be careful what they do and how they do it. Then you have people who are making jokes about it not making jokes about death or anything, but just making fun of the hoarders and all this. Then you have the conspiracy theorists and the people yelling that this is a false alarm, uh, which is quite strange seeing over 400 deaths in a day in Italy. Makes me think it's a little bit more than that and it kind of makes me angry. But overall, there is positivity in between, but it's being drowned out by the noise. I think probably most of you have seen this. And this is increasing my stress levels. I have probably unreasonable worries about my family, but I think that's normal. I feel quite tense and I feel my tension has gone up three or four levels and, and easily provoked. And it's hard to keep your shit together, if I'm to be frank. This is a pandemic. This is a once in a lifetime, like I said earlier. We won't see anything like this again. Uh, but how long it will take to go past us, go through us, go over us, under us, I don't know. But it's going to have severe impact. I went to a store, and there was a lot of people in there, and they were not necessarily just buying essentials or what they need. They were buying gym equipment and stuff to, you know, I saw some dudes, young dudes, three of them, three of them together, buying a belt for one of them. And I'm thinking, why? Why are you out here? You should be trying to isolate you. Because you can, maybe you'll go catch something here and you go visit a grand or an uncle or aunt and make it sick and it could be it, that could be it for them. Then I went to the supermarket and the supermarket was crowded and I didn't see it myself but some used to someone come out only carrying a can of energy drink. You should only be going to the supermarket because you need to and you really need to because you're buying for the whole week. This guy's probably going there every day. 
if he catches something, brings it to the supermarket, a lot of people can get sick. But no one seems to think that way. They just don't care. They just think they're invulnerable and, and then this hits and, and what happens then? And there was a lot more traffic today than it has been over the last few days. It's like, oh, it's a weekend. We just take the weekend off. Something's wrong there. The mindset of people is just not right. And I worry that the social distancing will not be kept as strict as it should be and that people are going to be making mistakes like this. We can go and visit that person or that person and it's fine. People are taking their own personal comfort over what is good for those who are frail and those who are in most danger from catching the disease. First of all, listen to your authority. You may not agree with them, but you have to go along with them. If you don't, you might be jeopardizing yourself and others by doing so. This is not the time to be yelling conspiracy theories. You have to trust. Think about how stressed you are. Realize how stressed you are. And realize that everyone around you is probably as stressed, if not more. Be kind to others. Treat them well. Uh, try to give them comfort. Talk to them and explain to them that you are stressed as well. Wash your hands constantly. Use disinfectant because it smells nice. Pamper yourself, as in a healthy way. Don't go pinching on snacks and alcohol. Don't do drugs. Don't drive too fast. Don't yell at people. My wife is laughing at me. The camera squint. You have to tilt your monitors to see me correctly. What else can I tell him? That you're wearing nice socks today? How long is this video? 23 minutes. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have fun editing it. Laugh if you have an opportunity. Have a good laugh with your friends and family. Don't laugh at your friends and family, especially if they're coughing. Get good rest, stop watching TV, go to bed, read something, sleep is going to help you. Everything that de-stresses you is going to help you when it comes to battling both the mental stress and the physical aspects of the coronavirus. Make sure you don't watch too much Peppa Pig, uh, that will drive you nuts. If you've not done so already, subscribe to layoutlines.com here on YouTube. Right. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I'll probably make another vlog tomorrow and Sonia will never edit it because he doesn't like my vlogs now. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.